Hi there and welcome to another vlog. This week I'm going to be taking on the gallon challenge and you may have seen the gallon challenge with a gallon of milk and people are drinking it and it all goes down them. That's not what I'm meaning. I mean the water gallon challenge which is drinking two of these. Not one but two of these. One of these comes to I think 2.2 litres and you've got to drink two of these to be able to drink a whole gallon a day. This thing's massive, it's bigger than my head. Don't know how this is gonna go, don't know if I'll be able to drink this much water, probably gonna spend a lot of the week in the bathroom because that is a lot of water. But the reasons why I'm doing it is because I've seen so many people try it and they're saying that there is a lot of good benefits from it and I just want to see if some of those benefits are real and I could use the help with some of them. So the first one and most important one for me is more energy. Right now I'm constantly feeling so tired. I know it's to do with the fact that I'm not a great sleeper but maybe by drinking this more water I'll maybe get a bit more energy in me, get a bit more active, move a bit more and that'll maybe help me sleep better at night. So that's reason number one. The next one is clearing up skin problems. I don't know if you can see I am, oh, sorry I'm looking up in my viewfinder, I'm very very blotchy and red and I constantly have little spots that are coming up. So I'm hoping that by drinking more water that's going to take care of some of those problems that I'm having. The next one is something that I struggle with every now and again and it's headaches but not not as bad as migraines but just headaches where I can just feel it throbbing so I'm hoping maybe drinking more water is going to help that. I do think it's because I'm on the computer a lot more than what I ever was before because I'm working from home so I'm hoping that yeah the more water is going to take care of some of that problem and the last main reason or benefit I should say, I shouldn't say reason because it's not the reason. The last main benefit I'm looking for is fighting bloating. I struggle a lot with bloaty tummy ever since I got my gallbladder out. Whatever I eat, whatever I drink just bloats me right out. So I'm hoping that more water is going to help in that area too because there's nothing worse than feeling very pregnant when you're not. And the fifth benefit, which is something that I'm not really looking for but it's an added bonus is light in my under eye area. Yeah, it's just very baggy so it gets very dark under there so I'm hoping more energy, more sleep and light in those areas, my face and the skin problems will hopefully just make me feel a lot better in this area here. So that's the benefits and the reason, as I said before, is because I've seen a lot of people doing it and just thought, how true is it? Let's test it out. So I'm gonna do that this week, drinking two of those massive bottles every day for seven days. I did my weight this morning and I've taken a picture, which I will add in here somewhere. And yeah, let's see how the week goes. I'll check in every now and again every day just to let you know how I'm going with the amount I'm drinking, am I coping, just giving you updates throughout the day but I'll speak to you a bit later. So just thought I'd check in, I started doing this at about 9 this morning and it's coming up for 10 to 12, just had an amazing like chat time experience with the lovely ladies that I work with. We did a cool thing for the kids, so I'm away to sit down and edit that. But as I say, it's only 10 to 12 and I've only drank this amount, which isn't a lot. So I think it's gonna be a really, really long day drinking a lot of water. And although I've not drank a lot, I've maybe been to the toilet about five times. Yeah. It's going to be an interesting day. I'll check in with you later. So it's a bit later now. It's coming up for quarter past four and I've only just refilled my bottle. So it's not going very fast today but it's only day one and apparently the longer you do this the easier it gets to drink this amount of water every day. So it's slow today. Just have to keep going. Let you know how I get on with bottle number two. nine at night I think quarter 
39 at night and I've finished bottle number two. The second bottle actually went down a lot easier than the first bottle. I think especially because I did a bit of yoga and had my dinner and I just kind of drank it with that and that definitely helped put it down. I'm away to go and try and sleep because I am very tired, not really slept great the last maybe like four or five days so I'm tired, fingers crossed tonight I'm going to get some sleep and hopefully after drinking all of this tomorrow I'll maybe have a bit more energy. I'll see you all in the morning. Bye. Good morning and welcome to day two of the gala challenge. I'm starting a bit late today. It's half past nine already. I actually slept so well last night. I got 10 hours, which is the longest I've slept in weeks. So it was so nice to have that long of sleep that I didn't want it to end. So I did get up a bit late. So I'm starting late. So I've got my full bottle ready to go for the day and then obviously I've got to drink two of them. I'm also sitting down to my breakfast. I've got a meeting that starts in about half an hour and I'm just starting my breakfast. Don't know if you're interested. I'm having some all bran. Very boring breakfast but it's got so much fibre in it and other things in it that's just it's really good for you. It's a good way to start your day. I start my day every day, very boring. And I've got a very big mug of tea. My favourite mug, Cinderella. So that's me, a way to start my morning. And I'll just keep you updated again with how the gallon challenge is going. So I'll catch you a bitty later. So it's now lunchtime, quarter past 12 not bad for my lunchtime and I've only drank about half of my bottle so far for the day so I've still got one and a half to go just finished my morning work so in case you're interested the way I'm breaking up my working day is that I'm doing from about half eight in the morning till half eleven or nine till twelve is what I did today it just depends on what time I'm getting up out of my bed when I start so I kind of do that in the morning, give Tyler James some tasks that he can do school-wise and then in the afternoon we concentrate on schoolwork that he maybe needs a bit of support with or just because I like seeing what he's doing so it's, I like to spend the afternoon doing a bit of stuff with him that we can kind of do together which is nice and then I do some more work making up the rest of my hours between about 7 and 10 so I've got to do 6 hours a day and I can't do them all in my normal quarter to nine until quarter past three because it just doesn't work with Tyler. So I'm having to split my working day a bit different. And it's taken a long time to get into this routine. And I think next week we're going back into the schools to, to sort things out for going back in August. So it's taken me a long time to get into a routine, which I think is going to be broken. Ah! So I've got all of that to think about. So it's nice actually doing a little challenge to keep my mind off of all the stressful, anxiety building things that's going on in the world just now. I'm going to have my lunch, again in case you're interested, very boring sandwich with Primula with ham through it and a lovely packet of palm bears and another cup of tea because I just really want one. Excuse me, oh my goodness. Yeah, just really wanted another cup of tea. So, again, the lovely Cinderella mug, favourite princess. I'm going to enjoy this and then get on with some schoolwork with Tyler and on with drinking that massive bottle of water. So, I'll check in again later. So, it's a bit later, it's 20 to 5. And I've just finished my first one, so I need to go and fill it up and drink a whole another one before bedtime. Have been going to the bathroom a lot today, but that could be expected. I'm drinking a lot more water than normal. Just been out for a walk with the dog. It's turned into a really nice day. Quite windy, but a, n a nice day. So I ended up coming back and finishing this. I've been out for about an hour walking the dog. So it's been really nice. I'm going to go and make some 
dinner, fill up my bottle and keep drinking and I'll check in with you a bit later. It's a lot later, it's 20 past 10 at night and I'm just finished bottle number two. My own fault, I decided that I was going to try and make macarons again, which if you saw mine and Tyler's Disney treats vlog day number 10, you would have seen us try and fail at making macaron ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> took us two weeks to even get something that we could eat and today didn't go much better. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing wrong, but it's given me a little challenge for this lockdown to try and make macarons. So I suppose that's, <laughs> that's something. Um, but yeah, so I'm finished the second bottle. I'm away to go and climb into bed and try and sleep. I've not really noticed much differences, the things that I'm looking out for. The bloating, under eyes, headaches. I've not had any headaches, so I suppose that's a bonus. And having more energy. I'm not really seeing much difference yet, but it is only day two. So we'll just have to see what day three brings tomorrow. So, see you then. Good morning. It's day three of the gallon challenge. It's nine o'clock. I've filled up my first bottle, I'm ready to go, I'm on my way to start doing some work, so I've got lots of things to do today, lots of schooling stuff for Tyler this afternoon, so yeah, busy day again, but it's lockdown life, it's very busy, and yeah, I'll catch up with you a bit later and let you know how day three is going. So it's 10 past 12 and I finished bottle number one. Really happy about this. I forgot to mention earlier that I had the worst night's sleep ever because I was constantly up and down going to the toilet. I think I didn't finish bottle number two until very late last night. My body obviously just needed to get it all out and it happened all through the night so my goal today is to maybe try and finish bottle number two by maybe just after dinner time so that that way I'm not going to be getting up every 10 minutes is what it felt like. I don't think it was but it felt like every 10 minutes to go to the toilet so hopefully my sleep will be better tonight. Otherwise I, d I don't understand how drinking this amount of water can give you more energy because certainly we're on day three and I don't feel like I've got any more energy. I feel really tired bags under my eyes they've not changed any the bloating's not really changed and the only thing is i've not had any headaches yet so i suppose that's a bonus and if i can get one benefit out of it then i suppose it's a good thing but drinking this amount of water a day every day i don't know if it's worth it yet but we are only on day three so I'll check in with you later so it's 20 to 6 and I'm finished bottle number 2. I do feel incredibly thirsty and I don't know if that's a side effect because I'm drinking more and now I just want more. I don't know but I'm going to try not to drink any more or at least definitely not another one because I don't want to be up all night again but I'm definitely maybe going to have a glass or two glasses of water because I do feel very very thirsty. Just finished making dinner so I'm going to go and have that but I will check in tomorrow for day four of drinking two of these. So it's the next day so day four of the gallon challenge. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. I've had a really lazy morning, spent a little while in bed and just worked in my jammies in my bed all cosy because I woke up this morning not feeling 100% pardon me I, um, I've i been really struggling with hay fever this year so I woke up 
just feeling very stuffy in my face very stuffy nose that's turned into a runny one so yeah it just didn't feel great this morning so I thought no I'm not gonna rush about and get up I suppose that's one bonus working from home just now is that yeah I can just have a morning in my pyjamas so I'm not taking too much advantage of that say so I'm up and dressed it's 10 o'clock I've been drinking bottle number one so I'm nearly halfway down which is good I slept a lot better last night I wasn't up and down going to the toilet every five minutes so that was good definitely drinking it all and trying to finish it by about five six o'clock at night is beneficial because it gives it time to get through your system before you go and try and sleep so that was good as I have woken up feeling a bit rubbish as I've said but I do feel a bit more lively in myself so although I've got yeah a bit of a sore throat and I'm all stuffy or runny I do feel like I've got a bit more energy today so that's something I was looking for in the in the benefit list of doing this so that's good that that's happening so hopefully that will continue for the rest of the week the other benefits I'm looking for not notice any difference bloating under the eye or my skin so just have to have to keep waiting and watching and see what happens so I'm gonna go and I'm doing baking for the nursery kids today which is gonna be fun we're making chocolate brownies so I'm going to go and film for that and make them and maybe have a chocolate brownie for my snack later on today so I'll check in with you later and let you know how bottle number one is going hello <laughs> so it's actually now day five I ended up getting so wrapped up in some work stuff yesterday and schooling Tyler and doing a variety of different things that I just totally forgot to come back to the camera. I did finish bottle number two by about seven o'clock last night and I had one of the most amazing sleeps I've had in such a long time last night. So I woke up this morning feeling so refreshed, I got so much energy about me. I'm excited to see what the day brings, been doing some work this morning because it is, it's 20 past 10 before I've even picked up the camera today, just been so motivated to get things done that I'm just da -da 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 and then I'm like oh the camera Um, so yeah so I'm really sorry that I've not checked in yesterday and I've not checked in first thing this morning but I'm nearly halfway finished bottle number one for the day I've got a few more things for work to do then I've got a meeting and then it's back to doing a bit of school work with Tyler and that's really all the plans for today but it's Friday so I'm really excited for two days off of working and homeschooling and just spending time with Tyler we're gonna play some Harry Potter Lego on the Xbox maybe build some Lego I don't know he gets to decide because such a hard week because I'm here but I can't do things with him so it's hard to understand that yeah I'm here and I could spend time with you but I can't spend time with you so weekends he gets to choose what we're doing so it'll be a fun fun weekend hopefully I think the weather forecast is supposed to be rain the whole weekend but I'm hoping that it's wrong and it's gonna be nice and we can maybe get out on some nice walks maybe go to the beach yeah we'll just we'll see how it goes but I'll take you along for the adventure because I've still got two days left of this well after today two days I've still got today and about one and a half bottles to go the other things that I've been looking for is clearer skin I'm not as red don't know I didn't really point it out on day one but I normally get really red and patchy all here and I'm not noticing that I like I've noticed that I'm not quite as red as what I would normally be so that's that's definitely something that I'm happy with and maybe that's the water and I'm not breaking out as much like I could be quite rashy sometimes and I've not been quite rashy a lot of yesterday and today so or today so far so yeah I think that way it's working but we'll have to wait until um Monday when I do 
full this is what's happened and I'll have a before picture and an after picture and we'll see what the differences are under eye area I'm not really noticing it's not lightened any yet I don't know how much it'll lighten in the next two days so I don't think that's something that's really benef beneficial from drinking all this water and um, bloating wise no change I'm still as bloated as ever so yeah we'll just have to to hope that something happens over the next couple of days that those benefits that I've been looking for all happen for me because that would make drinking this amount of water and going to the toilet as much as what I've been going to worth it. But I'll check in with you later and see how I'm doing on day five of the gala challenge. So it's just after three in the afternoon. I'm just away to start bottle number two. Didn't want to be starting bottle number two this late in the day, but I just had such a busy morning and afternoon. I had work this morning and a meeting, and then I've done some schoolwork with Tyler, scrubbed my bathroom, gutted it, sorted all of the bottles and things that I had sorted. I've got like a two drawer, cupboard thing sorted that cleaned it all out I got this cute little delivery this morning so I got six for my bathroom use four for Tyler's bathroom use so I'll maybe show you all later but I did post a picture on my Instagram and Facebook this morning Um, so yeah really excited about that so I filled them all up sorted it out scrubbed the bathroom giving it a good clean it's looking so much neater, there's no clutter anymore, everything's got a place and the only things that are out in my bathroom is my bathroom mirror, which I want to get a new one, the bottles and I've got a candle and a dish with soap in it and then the hand soap one for in the bathroom is out on the, on the basin. So yeah, once it's all finished I'll maybe do a little little picture in there you can see how it looks because I didn't take a before one. Oh, yeah. Oh well, I've been really really busy. I've sorted all of that out. It looks so much better so I just been a woman on a mission today. So I still got bottle number two to drink. I have had to put some diluting juice in it. I'm just really struggling. I think I've, I'm struggling from hay fever and I just my throat's a bit sore, struggling tasting things. So yeah, I've put a bit of, of orange in there just to kind of help it taste a bit better and go down a bit better. So hopefully bottle two goes quickly. No progress on the toilet situation. I'm still having to go so often, which is just nuts. I thought maybe my body would get used to the amount I'm drinking, but it's just not. So I'm still having to go all the time basically that's what it feels like but yeah still full of energy as I say women on a mission today I've gotten so much stuff done so that's a positive I suppose I'm gonna not speak about negatives about it we'll speak about the positives been on a mission today so it's been good so I'll catch up with you later let you know how bottle number two goes and then I'm excited because after this there's only two more days to go and it's the weekend so yeah it's gonna be good Okay, so it's nearly seven o'clock and tonight at seven I'm doing an online escape room. A group of us love escape rooms. We do them as much as we can throughout the year and we are doing online ones. I think, I can't remember how many online ones we've done so far over the lockdown period, but if we're not doing a, lo a locked room, an escape room, a locked room, an escape room. Um, if we're not doing one of them, we're, we've been doing quizzes or just having chats, getting together, I've done bingo, lots of things to do during lockdown. So tonight it's an escape room by my favourite company ever, The Locked Door. They're a, a group in Aberdeen and their rooms are spectacular. If you've not tried them out, you definitely need to do it because, oh my goodness, they are amazing. But anyway, I'm not supposed to be speaking about this. I'm supposed to be speaking about doing the gallon challenge. So this is bottle number two. I'm nearly finished. 
a lot later than what I'd want to be but yeah it just means I'm probably going to be up and down throughout the night going to the toilet oh well I'm going to be up late having a chat with all my friends tonight anyway and also I got a delivery today from the fabulous Michael Taylor so I am very excited to open this quite a lot of us in the group have been getting the beauty boxes so we're all gonna open them together on our zoom chat after the escape rooms so two of us are doing the locked door one and three of us is doing a different one and we're gonna just see what like they are and see if they're worth paying the pennies to do them online so after that we're gonna get together have a little chat about the rooms and open our boxes together and if all the girls say it's okay I'm going to film my month of June beauty box with all the girls opening theirs as well and get their first impressions too. So I'll catch up with you later once I've finished bottle number two and yeah I'll see you then. Hello! It's actually not day six today and it's not day seven either, it's day eight today. So the last time I recorded I was away to go and do a Zoom WhatsApp escape room by the locked door which was absolutely amazing. Me and my friend Emma did it and it's a two player game. She was in her house on her laptop, I was in mine on my laptop and we had obviously our two screens and we actually got to see different things so we really just had to work as a team so she couldn't see anything I was doing so I had to pull my weight and be the best team player I could be and solve everything on my side. Obviously we had our WhatsApp chat going on, video chat, so we could talk to each other. She had to figure out what was going on in her side, pass the information successfully across and solve all the puzzles. And we did that in about 45 minutes. So it was really, really good. It only cost eight pounds, so four pounds each. And it's the best room online room that I have done this whole of lockdown. Some of the other ones I've done I've not been impressed with or I've just found it more of a competition between the people you're doing it with rather than working as a team and that's what I love about escape rooms is I love working as a team and doing all of the tasks as teams working out because everyone's got a different skill set so and everyone knows something different everyone's able to bring something different to the table so yeah I really like the team environment about an escape room and I think the locked door which is an Aberdeen company have done such an amazing job taking that team player aspect from their physical rooms into their online room as well but anyway this is about the gallon challenge it's not about the lo the locked doors escape room but fab highly recommend do it do it do it so yes i ended up going on to zoom later and having a chat with all the girls and mike the body shop bloke came on and we all opened our boxes together we did record it so i'm hoping to put that together as my june beauty box reveal video which should be coming soon hopefully so that was all on friday so that was fab but then by the time that we'd finished chatting i didn't feel like picking up the camera i gave my face a wash and i went to my bed woke up on Saturday and I just I didn't feel tired but I just felt really meh so I was like oh, just I'll pick up the camera later later I'll pick up the camera later and ended up just not picking it up later still drank my two bottles and I finished my second one at about six o'clock because as I'd predicted on the day five section that because I was finishing it a lot later than I'd planned I would be up going to the toilet most of the night which was the case so finish the second bottle early so you're not up being all night is the tip so yeah ended up not not filming on day six because I just yeah just I just didn't want to pick up the camera so I'm really sorry yeah it's not an excuse it's just fact just didn't really want didn't feel like picking up the camera and chatting about drinking the water and just spent a lovely day playing xbox with my son it was fab so then day seven came around and i was like right that's fine i've only got to make up my day six what happened in day six 
so yeah that was fine but I just I was going back to work today and which went fab it was really good um went in did so much work moving lots of toys that the kids aren't going to be able to play with putting all of them away by and really just sorting out all the resources that we will or we think will be allowed to use because they're easy to clean so it's been a fab day at work today but yesterday i was just like you know what this is my last day of like chilling before i'm having to start traveling again because from where i live to where i work about 30 minutes traveling so i always feel like when i'm working I spend a lot of time in my car even though I don't I spend an hour 30 minutes there 30 minutes back but I just feel like I'm in my car a lot and I just thought oh you know what I'm just gonna enjoy this day only gonna be working from home sometimes now and I'm gonna be on location other times so I thought yeah I'm just gonna enjoy my day I did eat a lot of rubbish oops but I did drink my two bottles and I finished my second one at about six o'clock and then I actually drank another half a bottle. I just felt so thirsty yesterday, so I just wanted to drink more than what I needed to, I suppose. But yeah, so I've been to work today. I'm in my comfies, just been out to walk the dog, did a really long walk, and I actually feel tired. Don't know whether it's being back, oh, that's my washing machine. Um, I don't know whether it's being back and just being more physical because we were moving so much stuff i mean i pretty much hit 12,000 steps before i left work today and that was only like six hours five five hours work and i did all of that so that's crazy but i feel really tired but i'm going to speak about the benefits so i wrote them all down on my phone the ones i was looking at and the first one was more energy and i do feel like after drinking a gallon every day for seven days, I do have a bit more life about me. I do feel like I'm able to get up, get moving, get things done. Whereas over lockdown, I don't know about you guys, but I have felt sluggish and just demotivated. So the gallon challenge has definitely boosted my motivation. And yeah, I'm just really happy. I think that's definitely a clear benefit. The next one was clear up skin problems. It's it's not really worked, but I've got days where I feel like, oh my God, my skin, I don't have the red patches. I don't have any more spots coming up. It's great. But then maybe the next day it would be back to square one kind of thing. So not really helped, but maybe over time drinking more water is going to help that benefit of my skin fingers crossed. The next one was less headaches and I'm happy to report I have not had a headache in the seven days drinking a gallon of water. So that's definitely been progress for me because I'm prone to get them sometimes every other day and it just cripples you. You just, you, yeah, you don't want to do anything. And I think looking at a computer screen all day like I have been during lockdown, yeah, I thought I'd get, well, I was getting more headaches than normal but drinking all that water has definitely taken away those headaches that i was getting the next benefit is fight bloating um yeah it's, my tummy area has definitely not been as poofy as what it normally is and it's a bit flatter looking so yeah i'd say that the water's definitely helped that as well so that's a good thing and light and dark circles I have taken pictures of before and after, which I'll try and insert in the video. I'm still getting to grips with the technology of editing videos, so we'll see how that goes. But not too much of a difference, I don't think. I was just being hopeful with that one. And weight-wise, I've dropped a couple pounds, whether that's to do with the water or whether it's to do with me being just slightly more active this last week than previous weeks and maybe slightly eating a bit better apart from yesterday when I didn't eat the best stuff but yeah so I'd say if you want to try doing the gallon challenge do it it's definitely been a learning curve for how to control water intake and not drink a lot of water late at night before you go to bed but apart from that I don't think 
the benefit I think the benefits the more energy the skin problems the headaches benefits been brilliant for me um, and bloating and the dark circle all of those things I think you can maybe get a benefit doing something that doesn't require you to drink two of these I am still drinking from this so my aim is to drink one a day maybe one and a half if I drink two it's because I want to drink two and not because I'm doing it for a video but I'm on my first one it's just after 12 o'clock I've added some diluting orange juice into it because I've just been feeling very like stuffy in my nose and it's making me not taste things quite right so the orange juice is helping the water go down a treat but I hope you've enjoyed my gallon challenge video again really sorry for not really filming day six or day seven sometimes you just don't really want to pick up the camera and you just want to have a couple days to yourself so yeah but I hope you've enjoyed it if you try it let me know how you get on with the gallon challenge and if you don't try it that's fine but my recommendation is definitely drink more water because it's just so good for you whether or not it's a gallon I think those benefits will hopefully continue as long as I'm drinking the recommended amount which is eight glasses of water a day and I'm going to continue to make sure that I'm drinking that amount I think it's 1.6 litres so if I do drink a whole bottle a day I'm drinking over the recommended and I'll let you know maybe at the end of a month how I get on drinking the 2.2 the litres and see if any of these benefits continue. So I'll do a little video on that. But for now, I will see you later. Bye.